James R. Gildon, Patricioso, MCA representing uh, the people of Kututu South, and the uh, chairman, budget, and the commission committee. I want to make it clear that uh, a few minutes ago we have passed the first supplemental budget for the financial year 2023-2024. And uh, this was uh, a, a deficit budget. And uh, 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 that would mean that we have a, a sum of around 1.1 billion that uh, cuts across all the ministries that has majorly been necessitated by low revenue collection. Uh, the uh, 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 this uh, deficit has uh, majorly affected uh, uh, two, uh, three departments. One is the uh, Office of the, uh, of the Governor, two is the Ministry of Agriculture, and three is the Ministry of Health. Uh, you see, when we have even a, a slow uh, funds transfer to our dispensaries and health centers, uh, even those nurses back at home are not motivated to perform or deliver their services. And uh, it is yes, clear very well that uh, uh, since we passed the main budget, our dispensaries and health centers have only received uh, transfers once. Uh, engaging the Ministry of uh, Health, we made a discussion and we agreed that they are going to ensure that before uh, this month ends, they have uh, disbursed all that is uh, owed to the dispensaries and uh, health centers. Another thing that uh, it's uh, really out in this particular supplementary budget, it's uh, this low uh, revenue collection. You see, when, when the target is 2.2 billion and a half a year, the, uh, the county has only collected uh, 218 million. Kenya shillings, then it is alarming. That one uh, shows that maybe even at the, uh, towards the end of the year, they will not have uh, achieved a half of the targeted amount. So as the MCS, we have to retreat and uh, sit down and see how we can be able to come up uh, with the respective measures to enable and help the Treasury uh, gap the pilferages that are being experienced all over during the collection of funds. We were working on this uh, supplementary, we managed to have uh, a thorough interrogation with the Ministry of Health because this was a concern of all the MCS, this was a concern by all the residents of Kakamega County and uh, I will agree, yes, there was a problem at the uh, referral hospital but as we speak now, with the conversation that we have had with the ministry, I'm sure things are now under control. And uh, within the next uh, few weeks from here, I'm talking about weeks and not months, we are going to see uh, changes taking place. Because uh, in the budget, you see, the department was claiming that uh, they'd made a request of 450 million to, uh, to, to take care of the medical drugs. But uh, they were given only 150 million in the main budget and uh, they were added 80 million in this particular supplementary. You see, when you request 450 and you are given 230, uh, sometimes you may also not be able to achieve your targets at work. So what we have recommended in this particular budget and also out of our interrogation, we expect uh, the Ministry of Health to have a, a sit-down meeting with the Treasury for them to be able to align funds that uh, are needed to ensure that service delivery for Kamega is uh, on, on spot. The factories. Uh, you see, uh, it, it, is, uh, it is true. It is true that uh, all source revenue has gone down. And the closure of Mumia's uh, company, uh, that factory, indeed it has uh, played a major role. Because, uh, you see, the, 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 if, uh, if you compare the sub-counties, sub-county per sub-county, amount of money that was being uh, collected uh, from uh, Mumias East, Mumias West, Matungu, it has just gone down drastically, and also even other areas. Uh, so apart from um, the pilferages that are being uh, talked about and experienced, also the closure of the Mumias factory has really played a very big role. The other day I was happy when the governor said that uh, the factory is being opened very soon. We are waiting for that particular time. But as we wait also, the Treasury and the Committee of Finance should sit down and find out how we can be able to close down on this gap. 
2.2 billion, 318 million. You see, the gap is so big, and we are already, already half the financial year.